Today we'll be using Beside NG to automate Wi-Fi hacking and crack WPA2 encryption on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Although, WPA2 is the common standard for Wi-Fi encryption. It's actually very easy to crack, using tools like Aircrack NG and Beside NG. And today we're going to be doing that using a Wi-Fi adapter, as well as a Kali Linux computer, and also please be advised, when you do use Beside NG, you do need to set it to target a network, because if you just spin it up, it will attack everything around you, and that's illegal. Let's get started. Okay? So, the first thing that we're going to be using ifconfig, and we're just going to be taking a look at the different interfaces that we have available to us. And you see we have here LAN0, that is the internal wireless adapter. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in our external adapter, and see if I can run it again, and see if it shows up. Alright, let's see iwconfig, that's going to let us just look at all the wireless interfaces we have available. Okay, here we go. We have LAN1, and as you can see, this is turned off and here we can see its current state is down which is also being turned off. So, what we need to do now is, we need to put it into monitor mode. And what we're going to do is use Airmon NG. This is another tool in the Aircrack NG suite, and what it does is, it just puts our antenna into monitor mode. And our antenna as is capable of doing a packet injection, and being put into monitor mode, which is the reason that we're using it. We're going to use Airmon NG Start LAN 1. We can go back to iwconfig. Now our card is in monitor mode. And so now we're going to get to pick our targets, and I've already set up a target for us today. It's going to be a mobile hotspot that is connected to a computer that's running a YouTube video in the background. So, I'm going to go ahead and find it by looking at the network traffic around us with Aerodump NG, which is another tool that we have available to us from the Aircrack NG suite. Okay, as you can see our antenna is starting to sniff around and show us all of the different networks that are around us, and we can see different things like, we see their BSS ID, we can see what channels are on, and everything else to see here the data, and this is irrelevant to us today, because we need to know whether or not there is a client on the network. And the reason for that is because when you want to capture a handshake, a handshake is basically the secret exchange between a network and a device, and this happens when it connects. So, you need to be able to see that handshake as it happens. So that's what B-Side NG does, which is the tool that we're using today. So here in the network one, there's a little bit of data going through, but that's enough to tell us that there's a client on, and that's all we need to know. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop this, and going to grab the BSS ID of this network. And the reason for this is when we run B-Side NG, we are able to specify a target, which is important for this tutorial, because we want to make sure that we're just targeting one network, and not all of the networks around us, which beside NG will by default. We're going to try and see if we can listen in on the secret exchange between the network and the client and see if we can capture the handshake by running beside NG, we're going to go ahead and put in beside NG, and then we're going to specify the target. We can do this by putting dash B, which is for the BSS ID, and I paste target there, and then we're going to specify which interface we're using which is LAN 1 MON. Okay so we can see that it's getting through all the different channels, and now that it's locked onto the target, and is sending the off packets to both the network the cellular phone that's broadcasting the mobile hotspot, and the client computer that's connected to it for internet, and it's telling both of them to disconnect. Oh, and there you go. So, we've already owned the targets which means that in the interim, while it was telling the two devices to disconnect from one another in their attempt to reconnect, it was also listening in on their attempts and captures a handshake, and that gets automatically saved for you. So now that we've done that we can go ahead and try to crack this password open. So, the way that we do that is the handshake is basically a hashed mashup of both the password, and the network name, and a couple of other details, you know, puts it through an algorithm, and gives us a nice hash, that we use to check whether or not it's the correct password. Word and we do this by checking it against a password list that has a number of passwords. I'm going to be using a pretty popular one. So, we're going to do Aircrack NG, but which is named after, and we're going to put in the word list that we're using which is going to be rocku.txt. It is trying to crack the handshake that captured before, and if it is a bad password it will crack quickly. But if it is a strong password it will take some time, maybe a week according to the password list that you used, and the power of your GPU. Alright, so we found out the password. That's how you can use beside NG to crack a WPA password. 
And just remember whenever you are attacking a network, make sure it is one that you have permission to attack, because otherwise it would be illegal. And that's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to like comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.